we we have a frequency and when we come into each other's lives we're attracted to other people's frequencies and in the UFO community we all have that similar sort of frequency there's the uh, willingness to be open-minded there's um, a willingness to accept that there could be something more than what we understand is our reality right now And I think it's that willingness that vibrates within all of us that we're, we're tr um, brings us all together and, you know, we come into each other's orb and we learn what we have to learn and then we go out of that orb and then we someone else comes into the orb and we hear about, you know, information from them and as they grow, their frequency changes and so they go off to a different group with a different frequency and we continue on with on our path with whatever vibration we have and on to, to connect with other people with that vibration. You know, it seems to be when you connect that with physics and what we understand about physics, and I think it was Einstein who said it's all physics, you know, frequency is physics, or physics is frequency. And um, I think it's true that we, and, and maybe that extends far beyond the human experience, maybe it extends to life elsewhere in the universe, and maybe that is what we're picking up from other life. I think the role of our association in any group like ours is like to be a hub. It's to be a centre for people to to come to for a variety of reasons. So I see the role of the group as one, um, educating people who've started on the UFO path and they come to us to get information. Another one may be um, also on the opposite side is to bring people who've had experiences in from the cold and try and bring those groups of people together so that we can you know uh, people can um, stand on an even ground uh, better and understand each other and in doing so maybe we'll understand more about the UFO subject. I think the angel question is um, who are the extraterrestrials and what the heck are they doing here, you know, and is it for our benefit, is it for theirs? It's the agenda of extraterrestrial interaction. And as much as some people might like to think it's all love and light and, uh, you know, we're going to attract those because we've got positive vibes, uh, I can tell you I've spoken to about 3,500 people and they're not all in that space. Of course. You know, they're, they're having experiences, some of them are positive, some of them are quite frightening, and it's not all because... Uh, of their lack of understanding about extraterrestrials, they're actually having frightening experiences. They're having things happen to them which has caused them pain, pain and harm. And that's the truth. That's the reality. And I think that we have to deal with that. We have to, um, we can't turn away from that side of it. And I do see now that um, <clears throat> there is a, a, mo a movement for us to do so once again, to take a different tack and not actually address that issue. And I don't know how we can address it because what can you do with an advanced society visiting Earth, whether they're, you know, loving and kind and benevolent or, or whether they're not? What do we do about it? At the moment, we we're not really in a place to do anything. Um, and I think that's always going to be an issue. It's not going to go away. Well, it is interesting that, um, you know, five-year-olds these days, uh, 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 you know, the thought that I could educate them, they're educating us, aren't they, really? Because they're so open-minded and so accepting. They're growing up with the idea of extraterrestrial life. Um, and that's that's a huge paradigm shift for our society, really, to have a generation growing up um, in, immersed in an understanding that there is life beyond planet Earth. Even if our scientists right now can't say, bring themselves to say, oh, yes, but it's interacting with us here on Earth. It's still out there. But, you know, that next generation, they're probably going to say, grow up by the time they're 20, and they'll be saying, yes, ET is real. Yes, it's, he um, it's here. And, uh, yes, it is interacting with us. And can we meet them? You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. They'll be excited about it. Um, and and that, maybe that's a good thing, because I think eventually um, Earth society has to evolve into a cosmic uh, society. 
you know, we have to sort of step up and take part of our, um, take on our um, cosmic birthright, become friends with the galactic neighborhood, with those that we can and those who invite us to. Uh, and that's just the progress of life here on planet Earth, isn't it? We'll eventually become spacefaring. We'll, we'll live in deep space. Um, we'll, be, we'll be the extraterrestrials to some other group, you know, other planet somewhere. And, you know, and life goes on.